Okay guys, what I did today is a regulator on a 2006 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Convertible is different than the coupe, which a lot of the videos don't tell you. The, the big difference is, you get a bolt here, and a bolt underneath the speaker, and a bolt here. And again, under the speaker. Now, or not under the speaker, sorry, under here. Now, these underneath are slotted. So, you can adjust the window back and forth. And that's front and back. Um, the other ones, the coupes, the regulator comes riveted into this panel here. And that makes things a little bit different because when I got the part from the person that I'm doing this for, they got me this and O'Reilly's didn't know there was a difference. And once I had it all torn apart, I found out, yes, there is quite a difference. Not a big difference. And I showing thing is the speaker is a lot bigger on the convertibles. So on other videos, they don't show you a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to give you a couple of hints on how I had to get this done because I made the mistake of putting this together and putting this on and trying to get the window in and that didn't work. So I had to take this panel back off and I left the motor on the regulator because if that piece, and I'll show you the old one, if this pops out, this is gonna unwind. And the tension on these cables is very tight. So you're going to have a heck of a problem trying to rerun, the, rerun this. Now, putting the window in, this side has the normal where you just back off the bolt. Window goes into here. This side, on the other hand, is a very stupid looking thing. And the window just sits right on top of that. So, what I was having problems with is this bracket comes with it and it sits on the rear window. And trying to get this to line up onto here, I couldn't get it past because of how tight the angle of the window, you have to actually move that piece in in order to get the window in. And even with duct tape holding this on the window, it kept falling off. So I took the metal piece back off and just left the motor on. If you were to leave the motor on, then you're not going to have problems with that other piece falling out. You just take this loose and leave this plugged in because this goes to the hinge or the latch. And of course, they made a brilliant idea of putting the connector behind the latch in here so you basically have to take the latch off and in other videos you might see that they actually take take this out and take the lock out and then they take the handle out well the problem with taking the hinge out is these are not torx bits they're 12 points used on volkswagen half shafts so what i had to do is take vice grips because I don't have Volkswagen tools so took vice grips took that loose because I had to replace the door cable because the handle was broken off on the end there so I had to take that off anyway got that connector off but I just left this hanging here and just leave this bracket right here hanging you can use the speaker as a magnet and kind of sit it here or over here there's a nut and you could just put this top hole right here onto the nut. And that way you won't break the connector back here. So just giving you guys a couple of hints on these 2006. I think they're, I've seen different things, 98 to 2010 or 2005 to 2010. Volkswagen convertibles. Um, again, the difference you can tell right off the bat is with these bolts and of course the part for some reason on these this part was about 364 dollars the ones that come with the coupe with the shell and everything 
is like 60 bucks. What the difference is, I don't know, but there is a difference. So I just wanted somebody out there because all the other videos I see, they, they show them taking them out, but they don't show them taking them in. And they also don't kind of show you that there are differences in this. So I'm going back together. I'm going to adjust the window now and put the door shell back on or the door panel back on and we'll be good to go. If you guys have any questions, you can, you can ask me. I'm not a Volkswagen person, so this is the first one I get to work on. And uh, it wasn't a bad job as soon as I figured it out. Um, biggest thing was trying to get this clip in here on the back of that holds the cables out of the way. You gotta really get your arm in there and the tension of those cables are really tight. So you just gotta get that clip right in there. So I couldn't really get it in and had to get some needle nose pliers and pop it through and got it through. And taking taking this panel off, I'll tell you, all these clips and some of these bolts, everything's dry rotted. And there's a lot of plastic on the floor from everything just falling to pieces. So I had to make some spacers up to put in uh, where these used to be black washers or spacers. So, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have any questions, let me know.